Eight Lessons That Changed Our VoiceOver Career A solopreneur is an individual who owns, manages, and runs a business independently without the support of partners, co-founders, or employees. They take on greater than normal financial risks to do so, assuming full responsibility for the venture's success or failure. Whether you have a voiceover career that lasts two years or 20 years, you will be changed. There's something about being a solopreneur that uncovers areas of growth opportunity. What I mean by that is, as a voice actor, you don't have a marketing, accounting, HR, or admin department. It's all you. Because of that, it's like a magnifying glass on areas showing where we need to grow and improve. Yes, it's hard, but at the same time, it's also amazing. So Heidi and I wanted to share eight of those lessons that changed our voiceover career for the better. And by the end, if some of these registered with you and you've experienced them as well, please comment and let me know how. I'd love to read up about it. Number one, you can't expect what you don't inspect. Dally East. Dally is the daughter of our CPA, and she works specifically with systems to track finances. This is something she says all the time, and it resonates with us. When we paid more attention to keeping track of our monthly income, where it was coming from, which months were slower and which were more profitable, it allowed us to not only plan better financially, but to also create a plan to increase what to expect. Number two, never assume the answer is no. There is magic in the follow-up, but only if you never assume the answer is no. The person who thinks they already have the right answer stops asking the right questions. For Heidi, for example, persistence has been a scary monster for much of her career. She didn't want to come across as annoying, but the more she figured out the value that she brings and practices persistence, the more she realizes it's not a monster at all, but more of a fairy godmother. Number three, the best networking strategy is a helping others first strategy. Ben Mir. This is a good one to follow too, because we've also found that persistence focused only on what you can get from others does not bode well in such a collaborative industry. People know when you just want to get something from them. The more you can lead with how you can help someone versus how they can help you, the greater and more long-term relationships will be created. Number four, a downside of competition is conformity. I can't tell you how many times we've stumbled into this. As competition grows in voiceover, we can all think, what am I not doing right? What's the sound that's booking? How can I sound like that? We just end up conforming and trying to sound and be like everybody else instead of leaning more into what makes me and you stand out against everybody else. What do we uniquely bring to each audition? Number five, when opportunity comes, it's too late to prepare. Heidi and I are constantly asking the question, how can I prepare for the opportunity I want to come my way? Oftentimes, a really amazing opportunity has presented itself and we weren't at the place we needed to be. That's why you either have to be in the right mindset or keep training and be ready for when those opportunities come. Number six, there's a time when everything is fallow and there's a time when harvest comes from shallow. Joy Williams from All I Need. Joy Williams is one of Heidi's favorite singer-songwriters, and this line is one she said to herself many times. As voice actors, we experience it. A fallow ground is unplanted, but is necessary to restore nutrients to the soil for healthy things to grow. Farmers totally understand that. Now, I don't know what Joy meant by harvest comes from the shallow, but I've interpreted this as there are times when you won't see any evidence of a thriving career, and there are times when the career is thriving out of what seems to be pure luck. This is something we need to be constantly reminded of. And even if you are a successful voice actor, not getting a booked email at the same frequency or having slow weeks, it can feel scary in the industry. I'm not gonna lie. We all need reminders that we can't control everything, but we can control how we choose to move forward every day and how we choose to act and how we choose to control our emotions. We do have control over that. Number seven, what you say to yourself when it is credible, build something that's sustainable. Michael Gervais. Previously a sports psychologist for the Seattle Seahawks, Michael Gervais says that the key to changing a self-critical mindset is to focus on true positive data. This is why we created a folder with positive feedback from clients, agents, and coaches. Heidi admittedly is very self-critical. Me, just depends on the day. But they can hinder our performances and relationships and overall disposition. So having a folder like that that you could constantly go back to and say, oh, this is actually what people have said is true about me. That's gonna help your mental health to no end. End. Get one of them. Make a folder like that. Try it out. Number eight, what I've gradually learned is that it is not your strengths, but your combination of strengths that set you apart. James Clear. Heidi has said that she's loved so many things. She loves interior design. She loves cooking. She loves me. She loves acting. She loves writing. She loves on and on. And for so long, she felt like her diverse interests had held her back from being great at just one thing. She just felt okay at a few things. As her career has progressed, it's actually a combination of those things that has actually been her greatest strength. 
Now, this isn't to say that if someone has a single interest, that's bad. But if you have multiple interests, don't let anyone tell you that it's a bad thing. I hope these inspired you and resonated with you. And we'll end on one last quote that we heard from actor David Moscow. He said that his dad told him, there's always another mountain to climb, so enjoy the journey. So if we want to have a growth mindset and seek to get better and better, the answer is to embrace discomfort and hard things. And then ask yourself, what's the lesson to learn? Sit with it for a while and see what you come up with. Hope this video helped, and if you got something out of it and you think it's inspirational, then send it on to another voiceover actor you know could use it. Oh, and give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already as well. Atlanta VoiceOver Studio and ProVoiceOverTraining.com exists to equip, elevate, and inspire you in your voiceover journey. Cheers to your success.